something. We'll see if he has enough to test Bivol and find out what Bivol is really all about. The reference to the farm, of course, uh, the famed La Finca in Cuba, where the first round, and then he feels he can get down to work after he gets out of that first round danger zone. And better than any opponent Bivol has seen to this point in his division. Max, as we get ready for the one of the reasons why Sergey Kovalev is considerably more prominent on a global level, landing some solid shots himself. And doing some mean counter punches, son. I love the counter punching I'm seeing from Bivol. Tonight, he chose to fight Bivol instead of Kovalev, despite the fact that the money was less. Guys, did anyone see what caused that cut? No, I, I did see. not. That could be a... Spectacular amateur career for Bivol. Wins and fit like that, and the, the right hand, even had it landed, wouldn't have landed with much. And he does that when he comes combination back. by Bivol. <laughs> wow. Blood flowing again. But the one who appears to be holding his game together coherently is Dimitri Bivol, well, who is made, throwing and landing combinations. You've made the point often, Jim, what separates fight combinations. I mean, really good stuff. Look at that combination, you know? He lands both shots. He lands the left hand. He lands the straight right hand. He lands a left hook really that wobbles Barrera. <laughs> he lands another left hook that wobbles Barrera. He'd be running the risk, Roy, that Bivol, with his much faster hands, could counter him upstairs. He's running that risk anyway. See that? He's running that risk anyway, Jim. If you throw at his head, he's still like that right there. It doesn't matter. You're running that risk. Walking to you, he throws it quick and it's over with. Like that. See that? Boom, 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 and it's over with. No waste of time. Waste of time. Cool. And as you saw, their heads came together again later in the fight. And uh, a butt that Herrera got the worst. So far, this performance is bad news for the light heavyweight division. Because Bivol has had to, you know, taste his own blood. It's been in a shot. Might have been on the belt line. There's a right hand right. upstairs by Barrera. <laughs> There's a straight right hand by Bivol. And Barrera just walked in and ate it, so it's still targets. When you fight a guy like Bivol, who can move, who uses his feet to gauge his distance very well. Another attempted body shot for Barrera. Bivol partially blocking it down low. Good body shot. Uh, now this time Barrera gets the right hand through to the body. And now there's a hook to the head. When it looks like the exchange is over, Barrera gives him something to think about on the way out. Bivol has lost a lot of steam on his punches right now, too, it seems, Max. Yeah. On some of them, not all of them, but just some of them. Maybe he's a little fatigued right now. That right hand still has stuff, but... I started to say, the right hand was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now there, Barrera throws his right hand. Uh, Bivol throws a good one here and there, but their punches, on the, for the most part, are about even now. But Bivol is still quicker. He is quicker. Or maybe Bivol is sensing that there's a little given Barrera. Good body it's shot. It's going right to be a little more there. offensive, Roy. Boy, Barrera has really taken your advice on the body shots, Roy. And he landed a left hand to the body there moments ago. Maybe his best body shot. So in terms of landed punches counted by CompuBox, let's see how Harold Letterman has counted <laughs> up the score so far. Harold? Okay, Jim, I got a six to nothing. 60 to 54, Dimitri Bivol. Take these next few rounds to the body. Then try to come up and land something big over the top. Continues commanding. Quick. Occasionally knocking Barrera back. There's another right hand for Bivol. And right now we're looking at how bad does Barrera want it? Because if he wants it bad enough, he has a chance here. But if he doesn't want it bad enough, Bivol will walk. Right. No, they've all been walkovers by and large. And that's why I said that right now, he can tell us how bad he really wants it. Because he still can win it if he wants. We've never seen Bivol at this point in a fight. Well, if we thought Bivol might have been slowing down a little bit in the last round, I want to bet Sergey Kovalev if Kovalev can win in his assignment in the main event against Igor Mikhalkin. That was a good try for a good right hand to the right, right hand of the body by Dmitry Bivol. Max Kellerman correct in saying that the, with his body language, suggested that the fighter who got the worst of that headbutt. You're too bad either though. <laughs> the hand speed is remarkable. I mean, you just don't see many 175-pound fighters who can put punches together like this with the velocity and the style and the effect.
that Dimitri Vivol is creating in there. The velocity is right, Jim. It's, he's Time. using it. Tripling Barrera in terms of landed punches and attacked as often as he appears to try to get just a little breather in round nine coming toward the finish. Barrera landed a good right hand right there. To which Bivol had to react. Oh. And now he comes back with a hard right hand of his own. Throws it again. Throws it again. On a stop. They were in a fight last night. Good job by Bivol. By the way, even if you're thinking, well, yeah, but Barrera's done his damage with his head. But against Bivol, who can finish you quick. Take that same precision and sharpness with you throughout the whole seven. He went from boxer puncher who might knock you out with any shot to more pure boxing mode. Yes, a I little agree. less dangerous with the shots. Yes. Well, so for another night. Yes, exactly. You you win the fight very big with his shots. Why he it on purpose? I just think that's kind of who Barrera is. And what say he punches right there? He brings his head with his punches anyway. So. He does, and that was a good right hand he landed. Barrera. A couple of good moments for Barrera. Oh, good there. body shot. And Bibol responds to the body shot with a three punch combination. And then a stiff jab up the middle. And there's another stiff jab up the middle. 268 wins and 15 losses as an amateur. Very focused on becoming a professional star in the United States. He presents modestly, Max. But at the end of the day, you walk out of the room and there's no question what he... He would have been more impressive to many in obvious ways had he just blown Barrera out. But we'd have... We'd know less about him. He was... This fight is giving us some answers. There's still room for improvement, but oh, yeah. good body shot. what a body shot oh, by Bivol. Yes. Perfectly timed. Time. With legitimate boxing skills, one of them a little bit younger, quicker, and more vibrant in there tonight. Oh. Bivol still looking for a knockout, Roy. Over five, folks, here it is. Right now. Kovalev, Bivol, Barrera, better be as stop me when you get to an America as the top of the amateur boxing world. It also tells you if you want to see more American champions, we have to get our amateur... Oh! Down goes Pereira, and you can see Bivol thinking to himself, I still have a shot at a knockout. You can just see it in his face. Can Pereira get up? Is Harvey Doc going to let him continue? No. It's a stoppage, and Bivol gets the TKO in round number 12. Jim, you identified just now what was so impressive about that. Roy and I were talking earlier about he went at how Bivol seemed to go into boxer mode.